Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Beckenham right now and time for request vlog. No worries, I didn't forget about these. Okay, so no worries about your own your requests. You guys request, I will never forget. Hopefully it's a four car train. It is a four car, okay, better. Beckenham to Fremantle station today on set number one at the front and set 48. Wow! <laughs> Wow, what a set, what a set this time, wow, they put the first set and the last set together, that's a, oh, that was pretty funny. Alright, so, No need to worry about you guys' request vlogs. I didn't, re I didn't forget about them. So let's do our first one. Here we go. Beckoning them to Fremantle. I'm not gonna change in Perth. I'm gonna change in MacIver. Thank you so much, Nick Brown, for this request here. According to the caption, Ham, Ham wants ocean, <laughs> or Ham likes ocean, maybe, because. Because it is uh, back in Ham again, Ham, like, like last time in Meltham and Rockingham, they were all Ham, so that's why Ham likes ocean this time, because Freeman was the typical spot for ocean views and this beach, so here we go. First time actually going to Fremantle after I come back from Hong Kong. This is a pretty funky and pretty awesome set they actually put together, this is so cool. So probably I should really left the thing at the bottom blank because it's so cool the set. They put the first set and the last set together. Wow. That was awesome. Alright, this is Cannington. The non-stop to Oat Street. Change it change at Cannington. Change here for Thornley, Queen's Park, and Welshpool. Next station, Oat Perth Street, Perth. then non stop to Perth, Perth Stadium. Perth. Yes, so today I'm actually doing this on a Saturday, so that's why the Armadale Line trains are stopping at Perth Stadium, which is so stupid. I really don't get why I actually need to stop at Perth Stadium. I just finished, I just cleared off, yes, I just cleared off the uh, Perth Stadium entering and leaving original series video and I walked around the station. Literally, I was the only one in the station. Yes, not, not only just this talking about Oat Street, to Perth Stadium. I'm not even joking. Not only am I actually talking about there are no passengers on the platform, there are not even a single staff in the platform. Literally, the whole st the whole station is just a haunted town, empty ghost town. Literally, no one is there. So, what's the point of having that station open on Saturdays? You know, and also the Thorny trains doesn't stop there. And there goes Queens Park here. So, all the Armadale Line trains today are running a C pattern with Perth Stadium, while the Thorny trains are running the normal T pattern without Perth Stadium. So, then what's the point? Only having the Armadale Line trains it does not have the T patterns. That's not the phony trains, making going to the Burswood to Carlisle, these three stations, so inconvenient from Perth Stadium. Literally, you need to either go to Oak Street and change backwards, or you go to Cat Claysbrook and then change back. Which is so stupid. I'd rather they don't actually open it on Saturdays. But of course, I appreciate it because there are literally no staff on the platform. So that's why I just filmed that video very quickly without any hassle. So, next station. Oat Street, then non-stop to Perth Stadium. Now, uh, I just checked it back at Beckenham. The uh, announcement is again saying the info box, the information box, again is saying Belmont Park. Again Belmont Park. Oh my gosh. Come on, Trans Perth. Update these things already. It's been 10 years since Belmont Park is gone and they still have yet to change the stuff.
Now the request I will clear it up very slowly this time unfortunately because uh, most mostly the focus right now will be on the original series. I tried to clear off Midland Line after Armadale and Thorny because the Midland Line shutdown is coming soon. I, at least I want to actually get the old base water station for the entering and leaving series for Midland Line. Maybe the new one for Airport Line. I don't I don't really know, but but at least I want to show the old base water and then the uh, new base water, of course. This is Old Street. Next station, Perth Stadium. I don't know why they actually don't say change at this stage, change at this, change here for Old Street, for Carla, for Carla, Victoria Park, and Burswood. That's a C pattern over there. Next station, Perth Stadium. Next station, Perth Stadium. I'll later on literally show you there. Literally no one on the platform. Literally the whole station is just a ghost station. There's literally no one on it. Although, like, when I took over to Beckenham, I took out from MacIver. I bought that train, and there's one guy got off at Perth Stadium, but that's basically it. You can see during the entering and leaving video for that Perth Stadium video, there literally no one got off that two-car train. <laughs> the whole train just enters, stop, no doors open. All the doors keep closed, and then they just leave afterwards. No one even got off, no one even got on, and then the train just leaves. <laughs> it's like, what's the point of having that station, you know? And literally today, actually, it's just there are no events at stadium. It's just because today's a Saturday, so that's why they opened the station up for you to go to the uh, island on of the Perth, the, the, the Perth Stadium island after you cross Madagara Bridge. There will be people sometimes going there to picnic and enjoy their Saturday over there with the nice views next to the Swan River. That's basically it. No stadium events. So that's why technically, so that's why they opened the Perth Stadium for Saturdays, just because of that purpose, without actually the purpose of having the stadium having events. Now, when the stadium actually has events, the station is packed, okay, with like tons of staffs on the platform helping you to guide you to go to different places. But when there are no stadium events, literally the whole station is just empty. So I'm looking forward to the opening of Lakeland Station, which will be coming soon. Yeah, and also one funny thing is... <laughs> yes, one funny thing I want to talk about. Actually, last time when I took a bus at Thornley, I think I took 2.11 last time to deal with the entering and leaving series. I literally took a 2.11, and then there was one bus at the front, a gas bus, which I think he's, he, that bus was doing a 3.17. Seven, a 517 <laughs> but <laughs> but that bus I don't know whether it's the bus malfunctioned or is it just me hallucinating or is it the bus driver doing something stupid the back of the bus the number the, the bus number the route the route number shown at the back of the bus is 577 <laughs> 577 okay he didn't show 517 at the back he showed 577 577, that is the 3.0 version of the stupid routes by Transperth for Lakeland Station. Yes, apparently they're so excited about that route 577 that they just have a random bus set it up as well. <laughs> that is so stupid. 577 is one of the like another stupid route that I'm gonna hopefully film in the future after Lakeland Station opens. Avoid the sun during these afternoon times. Always avoid the sun because it's very serious. Here's Perth Stadium Station, you can see. They literally also are actually expanding the platform. I think they're expanding it because of later on they might put in Mandra line trains over there. Or something due to the expansion of the of the of the authority to Coburn Link that the Mandra line trains can just come over here through the Coburn Link tunnel. But look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh there's actually someone getting off at the first car. 
Oh, there are actually people boarding too. Wow. Just kidding. Apparently, they don't know how to press the button. Wow. A surprising one right there. It's crazy. But you can literally look on the other side. Look at the other side. Look at the other side. Literally, there's no one here. Like, what the hell? I actually thought that there actually would be a staff tent on the platform. Because, uh... I thought there was actually going to be a staff tent, like a random spot, a, a, a little bit of a post for the staff to sit inside for controlling the platform. But apparently there's not even a staff post on the freaking platform. And there is a staff post at the concourse, but when I walk up there, when I want to walk across the platform from this side to the other side platform, there's literally no one even sitting inside that concourse staff post. <laughs> So that's like basically when I actually, earlier on when I came over to Perth Stadium, there's literally no one there. I was the only one there and I basically owned the station. I technically just stay there forever, whole day, without actually doing anything. Without actually leaving the station. What a good spot for train spotting. Next station, Claysbrook. Made it to Claysbrook here. Now, still, actually, one thing that I think Transperth is kind of weird with the system is that actually on weekdays they provide more services than weekends, which is, I think, is actually a pretty stupid, uh, a little bit of a s stupid timetable. Because usually, it should be during weekends there should be more people. You know? Like, it makes sense that actually there are more people going out to have fun for, for holiday on weekends. So that's why why not provide actually more train services on weekends? You know? Because that's how we do in Hong Kong for the urban lines. Chinmon Line, Kuntong Line, Island Line, and Chengkwa Line. Frequency of trains increases during weekends. Okay, it increases during weekends. The whole day for those four lines is like three minutes per train. During weekday off, run off peak hours, it is five minutes per train. And then during weekday rush hours, it's like two to, two, it's like non-stop, like two minutes per train. But then why not Transperth actually set up the timetable as like weekends have more services because I, like more people might go out, but actually not really for Armadale line. Now maybe for the highway lines. Or maybe increase services for highway lines. Like maybe put in some W patterns during weekends. Like not going full way, but at least do a W pat do W patterns whole day to actually like increase the services. But that's alright. Like especially like buses, why they decrease the time why they decrease frequency during weekends? Although in Hong Kong we does we do also decrease the timetable, but uh, here's MacIver we changed we changed now. Wow, well, talked way too much. I was just here like 20 minutes ago. We're changed to platform 3. The train is coming in for Midland. 7 minutes though, so let's just go over. First, just take a shot on the train here. Alright, peace. Now let's walk down. So, sunglasses are always necessary during these days. And also, sunscreen. Now, I don't really wear hats because I'm not a fan of hats, but uh, it's suggested to actually wear hats as well and do some covering across the body. But I consider actually I might do that sometimes, but let's just walk up there. And now we'll just skip ahead for the seven minute wait. There's a high Wickham train coming in. 
Oh, just kidding, it's just the train that I just took. Which is actually so cool, that train. Set 1 and 48. Like, literally, they put the first set and the last set together. Which is actually very awesome. So, the next train is to Perth. So... Next train is to Perth, which is just, mid which is just the Midland Line train. So, that's why we go to Fremantle with that one. Alright, let's wait for it. Well, a little late on my reaction there. Set 41 and 37. Alright, so here we go. Again on the last car, that's totally fine. Just to avoid people a little bit. So we're at 3... crap, 37, yeah? So set 41 and 37 back here. Station Perth. Also a male announcer. It might change to female announcer since we hit Perth though. That's how sometimes it always likes to do, the driver, changing the voice of the uh, announcer. Alright, this is Perth. Wow, what the hell? Assholes that are eating shit on the f eating crap instead of train and leaving a lot of crap on the floor. Okay, there's the Midland train. Can't see the set. A little too dark. Hoof here. Still need two more minutes before this train departs though. Oh, I thought the door is closing already. What the hell? Because I heard some. Because I heard the pss down here. Yeah, they changed it the uh, the the voice again. They changed it to a female announcer. It's honestly pretty lame, actually, in my opinion. I'm just waiting a little while, that's alright. This train runs from Perth to Fremantle, stopping at all stations. I could have just actually skipped a little bit, but the door is closing anyways. We're good.
will take the full journey to free metal. Next station, City West. Right on to City West here, there's literally an old lady actually staring at me from the distance, which is pretty scary. But the good thing about having headphones on is just the perfect way, because it just looks like I'm using my phone. And randomly touching the screen. With me randomly touching the screen, it just looks like me actually not doing anything. I mean, like, randomly touching the screen is just like I'm using my phone to, like, watch videos or, like, clicking on the screen for, like, playing games of some sort. Don't Here comes a set 120 on the airport line over there. Next station, West Leadville. West Leadable. Next station, Subiaco.
All right, so far Subiaco is still my favorite station. I didn't change at all because this is still the best station of all, so that's why. Because it's just way too cool. I know the airport line stations are also cool, but uh, I still prefer Subiaco a little bit more. I mean, technically Subiaco is also an airport line station, so. And yep, they have changed the Subiaco information panels. It is no longer the uh, the old the old uh, Pixit panels. It is now the digital ones. They're gonna change the ones on uh, the Armadale line very soon, so I bet that's for sure. Because overall, they need to upgrade them all. Alright, Daglish here. Now, Showgrounds is not open today, so that's why. Oh, I kind of forgot about Shenton Park, actually. I thought the next station was already Karakata, but apparently it's not. Yeah, these, uh... These, uh... What is that? What are these things called? Crap, these... Heritage lines will be a pain to actually film the whole entering and leaving series because there are way too many stations. This is Shenton Park. Alright, Shenton Park. Oh, there goes an airport line train. The driver is actually coming out to actually take a check on the stuff. That's pretty funny. Station Karakata. I'm 
thinking of actually buying a bike and then I can try to actually like ride a bike through the train lines next to the train lines that'll be a lot of fun the best movie free man line and mid line because literally the, the cycling track is right next to the train tracks literally no detours and no leaving train tracks at all harder will be the uh, the the highway lines I hear a caracata scanning through the stations here trying to like checking out the stuff Alright, here we are at Lot Street. Next station is Claremont. I hope that old lady actually get off because she's so scary looking. It's like random things like look over here and stare at my direction. My hands kind of hurt actually using going through these poles here. Next station, Claremont. Okay, there goes a, another Midland Line train. Here are Showgrounds. Showgrounds will be another freaking, freaking hard station to actually film because... Yeah, it's going to be insanely hard for me to actually film Showgrounds station. I need to wait until Showgrounds station is actually open and I actually can film it. Alright, Claremont. This is Claremont. This is Claremont. That was a funny one. Next station, Swanbourne. Our right, next train is Terminating Train. For this platform. Any train parked in here? Yep, there it is. Set 84.
doors closing. Next station. Crap, what's the next station? Cottesloe, I think. Is it Cottesloe for the next station? No, 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 no. Grand Street. I forgot the stations. Gosh, is it Grand Street? I think it's Grand Street. Yes, Grand Street. Next station, Grand Street. Now upcoming there will be actually a Fremantle and airport line closure but technically going to airport is not affected it's just the uh, Fremantle line section is closed down so that's why airport line also need to just terminate at Perth instead of going to Claremont so on that day 906 will operate full journey actually from Fremantle to Perth during the uh, normal service hours not just at night so I might go ahead and film the full journey of 906 which is gonna be pretty fun because they're probably gonna use the B12s again Last time I did with Mark, which is uh, the Claremont to Fremantle closure, before Airport Line opens, they tested out the, uh, the these turn back sidings. So, but that time only from Claremont to Fremantle station for 906, but next time it will be all the way to Perth bus port. That'll be a lot of fun. Next station, cut the slow. Okay, after getting off at Fremantle, I'm going back home right away, 9.10. Yep, I'm leaving area right away. Not, not hanging out in Fremantle today, I'm just trying to get some filmings. And then uh, tomorrow will be episode 4 of MTR Station Series, remember to stay tuned. Which the video will be a little bit longer this time, for sure. <laughs> not like the Eric Road Expo Station being so damn short. Now the video length should increase back up again later on for some of the bigger stations, although there will be short videos because there are some very lame stations to go through for Hong Kong MTR Station series. Okay, my hands are a little tired. Next station, Morseman Park. Not Morse. Next station, Mossman Park.
All right, here we are at Mossman Park. A few more stations to go, three more to free metal. Next station, Victoria Street. Uh, Victoria Street. So far the doors didn't even open for a single time back here, so that's why. Victoria Street. Cannot okay, forget about the ocean views. Okay, so that lady is also going to Fremantle. But at least one of, I think a random friend of her is blocking the sight of her looking towards me right now. So that's why we just go ahead and film the two remaining sections. Oh, it's been a while since I've came to Fremantle. Still very beautiful as always. This is North Fremantle. I still remember the first time when I came to Perth last year. When I come to Perth last year, I pronounced everything literally wrong. So, the stations, I pronounced Midland correctly. I pronounced Armadale and Thorny correctly. I didn't pronounce Fremantle correctly. I pronounced it as a Fremantle, I think. <laughs> so that's wrong. And also, I didn't pronounce Jundalup correctly. It's not Jundalup, it's Jundalup. <laughs> or according to Transperth, is This is Jundala. <laughs> Jundala. <laughs> like that. And also, I didn't pronounce Mandura correctly. I pronounced it as Mandura, I think. Mandura. <laughs> so, which is a very, very big improvement. Of course, it also makes sense that some of you guys, Perth viewers, when uh, you watch my Hong Kong videos earlier on, you didn't ma make the pronunciation correctly for like, like Chin Wan, you didn't make that. My next station is Fremantle. Next station, Fremantle, where this service terminates. Oh, there are trust offs. Now my card is already a student tertiary concession fare card and uh, earlier on the transit officers did not check my student ID card. Next station, Fremantle, where this service terminates. Definitely is a must go if you visit Perth, must go to Fremantle. You can just spend a whole day here in Fremantle. Go to all the museums, take the ferris wheel at Esplanade Park, walk to Fremantle Markets, 
And then if you stay at night, go to the uh, the uh, the uh, little bit of a cargo warehouse next to the train tracks. I can actually show you the warehouse, which there are some very decent restaurants over there, where you, which they only open at night. So that's why you can go there and eat at night time. There's a train track over there. That one's just for freight train because it's not electrified. So beautiful. That's someone texting me, probably my mom. Nope, not my mom. It's by Michael and uh, Chris back in Hong Kong. I didn't actually meet Chris one more time before I leave and also Henry I did meet him one more time. I had lunch with her with him one more time before I leave. So and uh Michael of course came to send me out at the airport. Yes, he did came to send me out at the airport and also with another girl which you guys don't know. My, literally Michael and that girl is one of my best friends in from secondary school, so because I didn't have a lot of friends back then, and the uh, the girl that came, I just gonna uh, Amy. You don't know. You don't need to know who she is. You don't. You don't know who the hell. You guys won't be know who the hell is Amy. But she's one of my. She is my first actually female friend back in secondary school. What the hell is going on here? What the hell? Is there a train over there? I saw some trains over there. There's one on platform three. <laughs> There's a train on freaking platform three over there. What the hell? Okay, here's the spot where you can actually enjoy. Oh, there's the train over there. This is the spot where you can actually enjoy your day, which is uh, the, the at night time you come here. The sunshine harvester works right there. That's the cargo warehouse. There's some carts, food trucks inside there, which only open at night that area. So that's why you can go there and uh, eat. And free metal. Let me press the button to get off. And made it to free metal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. This is free metal station. This service terminates here. Made it to Fremantle Station. Now Fremantle is actually one of the longest stations I think. It's literally longer than six cars. It's not even six car in length for Fremantle. It's longer than six cars. It's like around eight cars in length. Here we are at Fremantle Station. It's time to get off. Free metal and check out the links in the description. Click on this video up top, subscribe and peace.